Hello. This is Mark Stober reporting on the geology of Niagara Falls. Twelve to 15,000 years ago, when the Great Ice Age was ending, the glaciers over western New York and southern Ontario were melting. Water began to flow from the Lake Erie Basin to Lake Ontario. It went over the Niagara Escarpment, a cliff separating the uplands near Lake Erie from the lowlands around Lake Ontario. Thus began Niagara Falls. Since the fall's beginning, it has traveled seven miles upstream, maintaining approximately the same height as when it began. This is an unusual circumstance, considering how waterfalls normally erode. The average waterfall starts out with a single plunge. Eventually, this erodes down into a series of cascades. Then rapids. And finally, into a sloping stream. Niagara Falls' unique pattern of erosion can be explained by looking at the rocks of the area. There are many layers of sedimentary rock. All the layers are flat. The evenness of the layers promotes even erosion. Also, there is a layer of limestone on top which is resistant to erosion. Below this are layers of rock which are eroded more easily. The differences in resistance helped the falls erode how they did. Here's why. When the water first plunged over the falls, it eroded the less resistant rocks first. Then, with nothing below to support it, the upper limestone layer collapsed. This leaves a straight cliff, and the process begins again. Falling water is very energetic. In fact, the falls have moved back 350 feet between 1842 and 1942. To prevent further erosion, only a quarter of the 2,000 feet of water going over the falls actually goes over during most times. During daylight of the tourist season, half of the water is allowed over the falls so it looks nicer for the tourists. The water that is taken away is used for hydroelectric power. Both the United States and Canada get the same amount of this water, and the generating systems on both sides operate similarly. Water is guided through underground conduits and above-ground canals to large reservoirs. When power demand is low, pumps pump the water into the reservoir. Then, when power is needed, the pumps reverse and work as hydroelectric generators. All the water over the falls cannot be stopped, and you can't keep away erosion. Mother Nature will have her way. <laughs>